me off, y'all. They kicked me off, y'all. There we y'all. I told you, I can't even make my point. As soon as I come downstairs to get on the laptop, they just kick me off. And guess who doing this? Lil Dirk, Lil Baby, and they labels. YouTube, Facebook are all in collusion against me. I hope y'all screen recording this shit. I hope y'all paying attention, man. On the real, nigga. Like I said, niggas moving, everybody want to gang up on me. It's evident. It's evident. Y'all just seen me get kicked off YouTube in the middle of my fucking, I wasn't even through with the lecture. I ain't even got started. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see that, though. So that already let you know they're not going to leave the video up. Whatever I say, they going to delete, man. Y'all might as well start screen recording the fuck out this shit, man. Like I said, man, at the end of the day, I'm going to go to these receipts. All right? So, now. I don't know if you're going to see this live back, how y'all going to see it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Because they deleting all my shit. You feel me? I'm about to damn to go on the website and just open my shit up to the public. Like, on some real life shit. Like, you feel me? Like, them the kicking me off only proves everything I'm saying to y'all. Stop saying what happened, man. Like, who the fuck is y'all? Like, y'all going to really get under my skin. Y'all know they about to take my live and all this shit. And you going to get in here asking what happened? You don't know by now what happened? You don't know by now what's going on? I feel like at this point, why am I even talking to you? I'm about to just get, fuck the whole lesson, G. I'm getting up off here, G. I'm not even finna go live no more. Maybe everybody be happy then. Because I'm starting to feel too much fake love for my own university. I don't know what the fuck going on. How the fuck is you in the comments asking what happened? What you mean what happened? That's, that's sad, man. That's sad. I exposed these niggas and y'all still love these niggas getting back on to my what happened. As opposed to me like, man, they, that's crazy. They kicking them off. Nigga. Like I said, so after the George Floyd riot, before YouTube just kicked me out, after the George Floyd riot, I started teaching my people. Okay, so I created this YouTube channel in, uh, in June. I didn't post nothing on it until September. I started just posting on here every day, y'all. I used to get on YouTube every day and post one video a day. That's how I grew this channel by staying consistent. I ain't never dissed nobody. I ain't never ran no ads or none of that. So miss me with all the cloud chasing shit. My, my channel speaks for itself, man. My channel speaks for itself. My Instagram page. And all this shit they finna take, y'all. Y'all can't see it coming. Now, check this out. Look at this on my Instagram, y'all. I blocked Boy Live on IG. Now, I wasn't blocked, y'all, until I made this post right here. First off, Let's not forget this happened. YouTube just deleted my last video that I put on here when I said Rashad Jamal castigated last live. The reason it's not on my channel, y'all, because YouTube deleted it. Look what they deleted it for. Child safety policy. Which I didn't violate. How I violate the child safety policy? I was just letting y'all know to come to my website. Okay? And YouTube deleted it. And this was after I got into the argument with Pharaoh. So that led me to post this on my Instagram account. Okay. Now... With all that going on, I've been exposed. Lil Durk and this little shit was going on with Lil Durk and OTF and, and, and Memo and them the whole time anyway, right? So I get so fed up, I call everybody out. I say I will beat the fuck out of Young Pharaoh, Lil Durk, Steve Draft, Memo, Lil Baby 4PF, and anybody else who got an issue with me speaking my mind. I didn't say I would kill anybody. I said I would fight them because they are still, they not the real ops. The real ops is the system. So why would I want to kill any of them black, bro black, black brothers? You feel me? So, I just feel like them little niggas need their ass whooped. So, and whoever else got an issue with me speaking my mind, we can get Zab Jude on the phone. I call niggas out one-on-one. -on -one. The niggas ain't want to fight me one-on-one. -on -one. Guess what? Guess what happened? After that, after that post, guess what happened? Memo 600, who trying to pretend like he don't know me, right? You feel me? Memo 600, Memo 600 trying to, who trying to pretend like he don't know me, right? Hold on, right, because I blocked his ass. Hold on. Well, now, he blocked me. Yeah, his ass blocked me. Hear me? He blocked me. Memo 600 blocked me, right? Look, if I put his shit in, he ain't going to come up. See? It ain't going to come up because he blocked me. All right? Now, let me go to check this out. He blocked me. 
but the messages still get out there. This memo, y'all. After all I say is I'll fight the nigga for, for trying to set me up and come at me reckless, memo jumps in my inbox and say, bro, on Waldo, I will kill your lame bitch ass, you a bum. So I respond back like, do it then or you would die trying, lame ass nigga. You got an issue with me because I exposed Dirk for being a sellout because me and memo used to be cool. And he got mad at me because I exposed Dirk for being a sellout. This was months ago. And I'm like, I never said your name, but now it's fuck you. Keep thinking you can try and bully people, shaking my head. Why y'all think I said keep thinking you can try and bully people? I was talking about him and Dirk and the threats they've been having people threaten me with. That's what I was talking about. And I had sent the message right here to Memo, right there, and he deleted it. Look, it say post unavailable, post unavailable. I had commented right there, and I, that's what made him respond. I said, bro, you trying to send a bitch to set me up? I used to fuck with you. I ain't never took a... I said a bunch of shit. Memo deleted it. But he, he responded right there, and he deleted the original message I sent. This is his main account. The blue check right there. Fuck out of here. And then a blogger happened to catch it. Memo says, got mad at himself for speaking facts, talking about he's going to kill him, whatever. Look, but though, all I said was stop, stop sneak dissing me. Because Memo jumped in his story and said, stop tagging me and shit. I ain't tagged Memo. But people that's in my university tagged him. So he jumps in, in his story and say, stop tagging me and that. I don't have nothing to do with that. I'm going to start blocking y'all GDS. Right? So, me personally, I responded to Memo like, bro, why is you steady sneak dissing? Right? Because he didn't just send that. He put up a picture of another person named FBG Measle who got killed, child. Hold on. Memo didn't just put the um, that post of stop tagging me. The very next post, and motherfuckers on Instagram will follow me. No, I ain't lying. His very next post clearly said, Joe. His very next post clearly said, man. Joe. Nigga said he tagging me and shit. This nigga used to tag me too till he got his ass tagged. And it was a picture of FBG Measle. Man, you, I, like I say, I ain't never been a part of no um, GD, BD war, none of that. I've never done that. I'm not, I have nothing to do with that. But I'm calling niggas out when they wrong. Most of the motherfuckers in Chicago, y'all want the war to continue. Niggas want the violence to continue. You feel me? And I ain't never just called them niggas out. I've called everybody else. So I'm not finna back down from my truth from nobody. I ain't tweaking. I ain't none of that. I'm speaking the truth. Niggas get caught up in industry politics. Ain't nobody finna talk to me any kind of way. Fuck niggas. Like I said, so he talking about stop tagging me, da 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 Then he threatened me. He threatened me. So I respond back. So I go to my Twitter account. I'm like, man, the truth hurt. Don't get mad at me because you're lame ass, because you a lame ass nigga, scared to fight, and you mad because I exposed dirt. Bet he going to sacrifice your ass next. At Steve Drive Memo. Hashtag truth hurts. And I ain't never been BDK. Let it be known. Don't try to mix me with that shit. I'm a revolutionary, nigga, trying to wake you little street punks up, nigga. Don't try to make it seem like I'm against the BDs or none of that. I ain't none of that. So that's why I said right here on Twitter, nigga, I'm, I'm my own words. And I ain't never been BDK. I'm for my people, unlike your goofy ass. And in jail, I would have got your face beat in. Hashtag BGDN. That's to let him know because I am an XGD. Keyword, X. I'm retired, nigga. XGD, nigga. So I had to remind the little nigga that when I was GD and I was really GD and so I could never be BDK. Because real GDs know it's BGDN, One Nation, you little goofy-ass, fake-ass Instagram BD. Fuck out of here, nigga. Like I said, and in jail, I would have got your face beat in because I had the whole building for the GDs, nigga. And any nigga that wasn't doing one love, if you was one love and you wasn't doing one love, nigga, you had to honor that shit. He was going to get your face beat in, nigga. You fuck who you was. Whether you was GD, BD, or Latin folk. And anybody ever went to the county jail or went down state in Illinois, no, I ain't capping, nigga. No, I ain't going to jail. You can talk all that BDK shit, GDK shit in the world. You come on the deck, nigga, where now you in jail, nigga, you always got to fall in line. Just like in jail, motherfucker be out here on the street, y'all talk all that bang, bang, shoot them up shit. And I did years in jail, and I'm trying to tell you shorties, don't listen to these sent off niggas. Because when you get to jail, nigga, when I was in jail, we wasn't in that bitch gang banging and shit like that. Niggas was in there having prayer meetings. We was in there reading Bible verses trying to get back home. We had prayer circles, nigga. That's what they won't tell you about jail. Niggas trying to get back home to their baby. Lil Dirk trying to keep you niggas in jail forever. And I'm exposing his ass for that. Not just him, other artists. But I definitely got on Dirk harder because we from the same city. And he called himself The Voice. And he said he's sacrificing people around him. Lil Dirk sacrificed King Von. And he sacrificed his manager. I ain't gonna talk in the Nooski shit. But he definitely sacrificed Von. And then he turned around and sacrificed his fucking producer. And that's why they mad at me. That's why Memo was in my inbox. And what made Memo mad is when I said, you trying to put a bitch on me, I'm going to send her back to you. 
When I said that, that's when he said, man, bro on wall, though, I'm going to kill you because I was telling the truth. He didn't know that I knew that he had sent the bitch on me. She trying to be, she acting like she in the university trying to play me close to that. Yeah, I'm telling it all now. Since y'all want to come together and already try to come against my life. I'm going to fight, nigga. I'm going out like a gangster. You better know that. And all my followers, I'm letting y'all know, Joe. Anything try to come my way, because I ain't never going to go to jail. So any harm try to come my way, nigga, y'all know what time it is. Y'all know who was in behind the Capitol Records, Motown Records, Quality Control, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, Day People, Facebook, YouTube, the Vatican, the British, the government system, nigga. This is who I'm warring with, y'all, the fucking system and all these fake motherfuckers. And I ain't scared to speak up. Nigga been threatening my family for months. Go try to put a bitch on me in the university, nigga. Like I told this whole ass, nigga. And you gonna try to put a bitch on me and on my soul, nigga, I'm gonna send her back to you. I didn't say her name, and I'm not gonna say her name. Because I want her to think I still don't know who she is. Fuck out of here, it all comes out. When it all falls down, it all falls down. Fuck out of here. That's how this shit started. Let's talk about how it started. Who threatened who? He jumped in my inbox and threatened me. And then he gonna comment and say he didn't. Come on, man. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fake ass niggas. You fake ass niggas. Because I ain't scared of niggas. Don't try to make it seem like I'm in tour with no BDs, nigga. I came at Lil Dirk for the fake shit he on. And I came at Lil Baby. I called all you niggas out. Why niggas ain't just fight me? Why you niggas ain't fight me if a nigga had an issue? Or why, if I'm just a crazy nigga on YouTube, why not just scroll? Why I can't just have my opinion? Y'all got y'all opinions, nigga. All the shit you talk on tracks, Lil Dirk. All the shit you talk, Lil Memo. All the shit you be talking on your tracks, little baby, about who you gonna slam out. And then I say, okay, only reason I said this is because y'all all threatening me through y'all friends. Y'all got a hundred niggas inboxing me, nigga. What I supposed to say? I supposed to be scared of you niggas? Then when I sit here and defend myself, niggas want to make me like, like I'm, well, fuck out of here, nigga. All this is coming behind the fact I'm waking my people up, nigga, and exposing you niggas. You just said play my cards right, you gone. You gone. You gone. Don't tell me you play shit right, G. What you mean? Because I'm exposing the truth about niggas not play my card. Make y'all scary ass out of here, nigga. My soul, y'all last scary, nigga. And if some shit happen to me, nigga, I bet I'll take motherfuckers with me, nigga. My soul ain't nothing gonna happen to me, boy. I'm a real god, nigga. Just like Memo said all that shit out of my bad, I'm gonna die. And then nigga, look who died, nigga. Stop playing with me, boy. I'm not no GDBD war ass nigga. I am a spiritual god. When you come against us, you fuck all the way up. I have nature on my side. The elements, the ancestors, nigga. Fuck out of here. And since y'all sent all that negative energy to me, and y'all plotted it to kill me. The ancestors killed the motherfucker close to y'all. That's called karma, nigga. That's called spiritual protection, nigga. Because I ain't never would try to kill you, little dirt, or you, little memo. When I say you in person, memo, I, gay, I shook your hand, nigga. I'm just speaking my truth about you, niggas. But not once am I sitting here praying on y'all downfall. I've said all y'all make good music. From Lil Memo, from Memo to Dirt to, to Lil Baby. But I said y'all selling us out as opposed to making the records about helping us. Y'all got all this influence, but y'all using it for the elites. That's all I ever said about y'all. And then y'all start threatening me, nigga. And then when I don't back down, niggas want to get in my inbox and say I'm tweaking. Niggas want to tell me be safe. The one nigga that's left ain't scared to speak out against. I'm coming against all the big people right now. Why ain't you with me, nigga? Right, because y'all want to stay enslaved. Niggas going to sit back and watch me war with the whole OTF, the whole 4 the whole government, the whole Vatican, by myself, YouTube. I'm at war with everybody. I ain't trying to hear shit. Away. I ain't gotta lay a hand on you. I'm a god. All I gotta do is go play with my candles like I did last night when y'all start sending them death threats, nigga. And three hours later, motherfuckers get shot in they shit. Yeah. So keep playing with me, nigga. I'm finna go right back up here fuck with some more candles, nigga. Now who will keep playing with me? Y'all keep playing with me, nigga. You can send the FBI, the CIA. I don't give a fuck who y'all send. Cause all y'all working against the, together against me cause I'm speaking the truth. That's all this shit come down to. I'm speaking the truth. Nigga, I called you niggas out for a fight. At the worst, I said, let's fight. 
I didn't even say I'll kill y'all niggas. I said let's fight because y'all threatening me. I said Lil Baby, Dirk, Memo, Pharaoh at the time. I'm like, y'all want to fight? We can fight. Get it off our chest and keep it going. That's all I said, nigga. Fuck out of here. Y'all start sending me death threats, nigga. That's what made me do this live going off yesterday. And what does my... That's what made me do the live. That's what made me put this post right here. What I say, man? Man, I ain't never ran from a nigga. I ain't scared of none of you niggas. You niggas trying to scare me into telling the truth, man. Scare me from telling the truth. Then I wake up to this shit. I gave a lecture last night after all of that about June 11th and DA. Then I come right back to this shit. I'm blocked. Can't even go. I'm like, I'm blocked. Look what they blocked me for, y'all. Look what post got me kicked off Instagram Live. Now you let me know if Lil Baby, Lil Durk, and his labels ain't do that shit. Because they the only ones got the power to do it. All my posts, nigga, I ain't never got kicked off. They blocked me for this post, y'all. I'm blocked off live for this post right here, nigga. And guess what it say? Now nah, y'all share this shit. I want y'all to know how fake Lil Durk is, his label. These niggas act like they gangsters. Niggas that want to fight me, niggas reported my post. Bitch ass niggas reported my post. Look. Look what, look. Your story goes against community guidelines. Your story has been removed for bullying and harassment. Are you serious? Look. That's the post. They reported it. It got removed for bullying and harassment. Are you serious? That's how bitch made you niggas is. I said let's fight. Because y'all threatening me. And niggas run to Instagram and report the post. Right. Fake ass niggas. I can't win, y'all. I can't win against these niggas. I speak the truth. Niggas threaten me with death threats. I defend myself and say, let's fight. Niggas gonna call the Instagram cops on me and block me. What more do y'all need to see? What more do y'all need to see? I'm a real god. You niggas feel my power. Y'all know y'all can't fuck with me. That's why y'all blocking posts. That's some old female shit. Tried to call young Pharaoh. He did the same female shit. He want to go in deep. Nigga, call me, nigga. All you niggas fake. In collusion against me. Finna get my YouTube channel deleted. I'm already banned from going live for life on Facebook. Just got kicked off Instagram live. Come on, man. Man, I'm done with social media. My soul, I'm done with this shit, Joe. I'm done with this shit, but let the record reflect. I'm the realest nigga ever get on social media, nigga. Let the record reflect it. Let the record reflect it. Fuck the whole industry, nigga. Fuck all you niggas. Y'all sitting here being some blood drinkers, participating in sex trafficking. All you niggas. And y'all mad at me for exposing it. Come on, man. My name is Rashad Jamal, a.k.a. Divine Insight, man. Come on, man, come to my website, because I don't even know how long I'm going to have my Instagram page no more. Ah, you, I know they ain't going to leave this video up. They just kicked me off before. Look at how much attack I'm under, y'all wonder why I'm acting like this. Then bitch motherfuckers want to get under my comment and start to rock it with me. Oh, man, be, be careful, be safe. Man, come on, G. Fake it, come on, man. Nah, nigga, like I said, you tell them niggas be safe. And hey, anybody that's coming against me, I'm an anu 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 Anunnaki God, nigga. Now I need to be in, nigga. My intent is to increase the vibration and frequency of this planet. I'm here to free my people and to destroy this wickedness. So if your ass ain't got, ain't vibrating high, nigga, you need to be safe. You need to be safe. My intent is pure. See, you niggas used to rap beef. You industry niggas, I'm not rap beefing with y'all. I'm here to help the planet, and you standing in the way of what the ancestors want. So when you come against me, you come against those who sent me. That's what y'all don't know the power, y'all. Man, listen. When you come again, I, I really practice magic. When you come against me, you come against those who sent me. I am only here to free the souls and spirits of my people, man. I only have one enemy, that is the oppressors, the establishment. But you house Negroes, Lil Durk and Lil Baby and Memo and, you know, and your labels, y'all want to protect them. So now y'all attacking me. And when you attack me, y'all can kick me off YouTube. Y'all can kick me off Instagram. Y'all can do all that. But when you attack me, shit ain't going to go right for you, God. 
I ain't never said I was gonna kill you or Lil Durk or none of that, bro. Y'all been threatening me for six months, nigga. Why? Why is it threats? Because I spoke my opinion? Because I put my opinion. It's, it's my opinion. And I'm supposed to be scared to speak my opinion? And that's what got you fans in the comments like, be safe, because I'm speaking my opinion. So you mean to tell me y'all from let Lil Durk or whoever, how many bodies this nigga got? Whoever it is, Jay-Z, whoever, y'all gonna let a person scare y'all out of speaking y'all opinion? This should, be, this should be the reason all of y'all rise behind me now even harder than ever. Like, damn, let's stay on with God. That's how they coming at them. That's how they come in. So now you can clearly see that they all in collusion. You see it clearly. They should have never blocked me. And then you, you let it be known to post who went and reported the post. I said let's scrap and niggas get, I get kicked off for bullying and harassing. But all the fucking dissing the dead little dirt dude, the nigga got videos dissing the dead. But a real Chicago activist get on his ass for being what he on and Lil Memo and Lil Baby 2 for selling out of killing Marlo and lying to Atlanta. You bogey, you turned on Atlanta too, Lil. You don't love Atlanta, Lil Baby. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta love you. Why are you gonna love Atlanta? You, 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 you sacrifice the niggas, man. You selling your people out. Well, you still got real street niggas in Atlanta, Lil Baby. How you taking pictures with Kamala? Her job is to lock the trappers up and you gonna take a picture with her, nigga? Well, let me know. Did you get the drug laws dropped when you took a picture with her? Did you set something up to where niggas ain't got to go to jail no more? Or like times get cut or they ain't going to harass? I mean, what happened? Right. You went and did some shit for yourself. And because I'm speaking like that, they labels want to attack me. Because I, 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 they want to. that's how powerful I am. So y'all just let me know that all y'all know who Rashad Jamal is now. Now I know all y'all watching. I'm not trying to hear shit when a motherfucker came at me sideways. I've been exposing truth on this channel. I came at everybody from the Vatican to the CIA to the FBI, man. Period. Period, man. Period, man. Period, man. Everybody, nigga. I'm here to tell truth. And I knew telling my truth I was going to offend motherfuckers. But I don't care. I'm not. I was. Y'all ain't fucking me when I was when I wasn't telling the truth. And I don't care who don't fuck me for telling the truth. Finna, I ain't finna not tell the truth to make none of y'all ass feel better. And I ain't scared of none of y'all. And ain't no harm gonna come to me or nobody close to me. If you, I'm telling you right now, any of you motherfuckers watching, if y'all try to concoct some shit against me or my family, anything I got going, you will suffer the same fate, nigga. You will suffer the same fate because my intention is right. My intention is pure. And you can vibrate low and be like, oh, he talking all that. Da, da, da. Okay, right. The same thing Memo said in the DM. Same shit he said thinking I'm a lame, nigga. And I ain't do nothing to do. I ain't make no, I, no, I ain't do nothing to do, but what I stand for, I know my ancestors wasn't going to go for that. First off, Young Pharaoh did it. Then, first off, hold on, hold on. Facebook did it and the ancestors ain't like that. Then Instagram did it. Then Twitter did it. Then YouTube did it. Then Young Pharaoh did it. Then Memo and Lil Baby and them was doing it. All y'all coming against me, you think the ancestors ain't going to have my back? It's going to get real. It's going to get real, real. Niggas albums ain't finna, even finna sell no more unless y'all make this shit right. Y'all better go pray about it. I'm telling you right now, man. Go pray about it, man. My ancestors is furious behind you with y'all. Y'all attacking me. It's too many of y'all coming to me and the ancestors finna let loose. The war has just begun, nigga. When all y'all kind of always warned y'all. I say, bro, when it gets to the point where y'all try to completely take me out social media, at that moment, nigga, the whole planet gonna go up in flames. Do you know who I am and what I am? And you niggas that thought y'all knew me, y'all never knew me. I pretended to be somebody I wasn't around you niggas. And even then, y'all ain't had no love for me. Y'all could think I'm in this war alone. Y'all can all gang up. YouTube they can delete this video like they did the last one. Instagram, Facebook, fold the whole phobia up, the whole OTF. I get it. It's just little old me. And, and that make y'all feel good to gang up on me. That's why I told Memo, hey. All right, brother, keep thinking you can bully people. I ain't got to wish nothing bad on y'all. My ancestors are already finna get on everybody's ass that has went against us. I was only sent here to warn you. And you come against the warner, then you bring nothing but death and desolation to yourself. I've only been sent here to warn y'all. I am for you, motherfuckers. How you gonna come against the one that's for you? That's when you bring hell on your ass, boy. See, one thing about the universe, you can't start no fight with nobody and think you're going to ever come out on top. That ain't how the universe works. See, it don't matter what y'all fans know or think. 
Memo know what's going on. Lil Dirk know what's going on. Lil Baby know what's going on. Young Pharaoh know what he did. I know what's going on. The people involved, the Vatican, the British Royals, the CIA, the FBI, Instagram, YouTube, all of those of you who come in collusion against me, y'all know what's going on. So hear me clearly. This planet was taken from us. I was sent back to warn my people. Y'all have tried to harm me, threaten my family, for just warning my people. And you think y'all gonna get away with that? I actually love the planet. I have a connection to nature. The bugs, the birds, I feed them. I connect to everything around me. So when I hurt, the entire realm hurts. When I go through pain, my ancestors and all the animals and every being and people that support, they feel that too. You don't have enough power to come against me, man. I advise you to go somewhere and try to get back right. Y'all don't have enough power to come against me, man. And while y'all dissing me, I see Quando Rondo brother laughing at y'all getting killed last night. I'm not laughing at y'all getting killed at what happened to your people, Dirt or Memo. I'm simply warning you how how karma work. Y'all, you know why? Yo, you know what really just happened? Y'all been sitting there trying to take my life, plotting on how y'all gonna take my life, trying to set me up, and then the universe had to remind y'all, which it still ain't remind y'all, cause y'all think some niggas in the streets did it. Y'all think that was some street shit, nigga. That ain't no street shit. The universe worked through people, places, and circumstances. This is how black magic really works. I teach this shit in here, man. My followers know I ain't lying. I teach this shit. I done created motherfucking hurricanes with my mind. Earthquakes. I'm down here controlling the elements and y'all wanna play with me? No weapon formed against me shall ever prosper. Cause y'all not my enemy. So when you make somebody your enemy that's not your enemy, then you set yourself up for all type of crime. You already got hella karma coming your way, Dirk, anyway, for all the bullshit you've been on. The last thing you should have wanted to do is come at the, uh, a fucking spiritual righteous person. That's where you fucked up at. Boy, I bet you your album stop selling. If I say album stop selling, your shit will never sell. If I go upstairs right now and say, oh, I want all this teeth to fall out of his mouth, my ancestors are going to make sure all your teeth fall out your mouth. Because my only enemy is the oppressors. Why are so many black people trying to become my enemy when I am not here, y'all not my enemy? So when you jump in front of the gun of my mission, y'all's killed King Von. Then you harness the man energy. That's why you ain't been auto-tuning no more than nothing. You got that man whole swag style and ran off with it. That's what got you mad at me, Dirk, because all the other bloggers that talked about you, Dirk, they was kind of scared to say your name and shit. But when that Chicago OG video came out and I wasn't scared to say your name and it's just the fact that I was actually speaking real truth when I got to talking about how y'all do the blood rituals and the blood drinking, that's a deeper level. Even the OTF niggas around me don't know that. See, everybody in OTF, y'all need to get the fuck away from dude, man. Y'all don't know what he took, what he participated in because y'all wasn't behind closed doors. Y'all came after he did it. So when he gave y'all chains and shit, y'all like, okay, it's our love. But you don't know he done made sacrifices. You don't know that he done already killed so many innocent people that that has to come back his way. And you don't know that the last six months he's been trying to take my life on the low for exposing that fact and being so on point about Dirk. And it ain't just Dirk. It ain't just little baby. It's the elites too. I'm at war with everybody. The only reason ain't nothing happened to me because I'm vibrating so high that they can't. They can't. I can still step out here. But the universe ain't gonna let you do nothing to me. Now, let, it'll be different if I was out here like gang banging, robbing people, hurting people, starting shit, then yes, I'll be getting my, that's what happens to a lot of you niggas that get online. That's what y'all do, I don't do that. So when you come against me, nigga, come on man. In the world, like I told y'all, I say as we get more and more into this war, I will reveal myself. And as we continue to go in this spiritual war that has officially begun now, it begun when YouTube and y'all last week got on that bullshit. It begun when Facebook banned me from live. For life.
So this video isn't a threat. This video isn't me bagging, bro bagging, bragging, boasting. I'm trying to get you to see something, Dirt, because I know y'all watching. I want you to notice something. Notice how you've been dissing Dirk and Duck and everybody and all this shit you got with Kwando and all that fake shit. You got all that going, right? And ain't nothing happened to nobody close to you. Because Vaughn, you killed Vaughn, and he wasn't even your brother. He was from O Block, originally from Killer War. He ain't your blood, brother. That's what the fans don't know. He was your fucking artist. Of course, you looked at, he looked at like your brother to the fans because y'all on pictures together. So it's looking like it's real love. Oh, that's twin them. No, you, he was just your fucking artist. That was just your brother. Though. So you're going to feel that. You didn't feel Nooski. You didn't feel you fake like you did. You didn't feel Nooski. You got out and ran on him. You would have stayed there with him. You the one to get on the records doing all the shit, keeping the violence going in Chicago. And you got mad at me for exposing that a few months ago. It's all your fault, nigga. Niggas that was in the war dead, and you still dissing niggas. Then you threaten me. Oh, a Chicago activist. I'm an activist, nigga. How you threaten the activist? How you threaten the revolutionary? The intellect. As soon as you do it, it ain't even 24 hours, nigga. Niggas dying close to you. That's called karma. Man. There wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? That's what that really is. No, he ain't sacrificed his brother. Sacrificed Vaughn, though. He sacrificed his producer. You just sacrificed your producer. They made all the beats for so you. Sacrifice him because you so thirsty trying to get to that Jay-Z position. Memo, you had half a million followers after Vaughn died. Notice, a lot of niggas then came up after Vaughn died. You ain't got to worry about who. You ain't never got to act. If you want to know who in on something, all you got to do is if something happened to somebody and you want to know who did it, all you got to think about is who got, got the most, the most, the most to benefit from it. Nigga, everybody took off. And there's still no get back for Vaughn. Because Quando Rondo was in on it. That was part of his humiliation ritual. Vaughn was the only one they know what was going on that night. Everybody else there knew. How the fuck the police officer shoot Lil Tim in the ankle but kill everybody else damn near? He would have FaceTimed him. Boom, 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 boom. He the shooter. Come on, man. Like I say, at the end of the day, the fact that I get on here and I'm not scared to speak the truth, now you niggas want to threaten me. And when you threaten me, I wear lapis, nigga. I can tell you what this is because it's super protected. I wear the lapis. Boy, that shit going to come right back at you. That shit going to come right back at Listen, man. What you think this is for? Come on, man. You can't do nothing with the guy. What you think this is for, man? I'm draped in this shit, man. My, my war is only with Zeus and these oppressors. And when I speak out against you house Negroes, that's what I'm supposed to do. Because you are selling us out. And then here I am. I got the courage to speak up. I'm only five foot eight. I'm a little nigga at that. I ain't no big nigga. I ain't like I'm a big. When I say nigga, I'm from the hood, so I'm going to say nigga. But you know we gods. And when I say nigga, if I'm getting on your ass like bitch nigga, that's because you vibrating low. You in your nigga mindset. You ain't in your God mindset. If I say bitch, that's because you're in your bitch mindset. You're not in your God mindset. But I'm only five foot eight, y'all. 165 pounds, 170 pounds. All muscle, though. No fat. All muscle. All muscle. You know what I'm saying? I probably got 2%, maybe 1.3, 1, 1, 1. 1.6% body fat or some shit. Right? Why y'all need to send a bunch of other niggas at me? Like what? And then when I call niggas out, after this is after y'all antagonized me playing this game on the low. And I ain't want to say nothing because I'm like, damn, if I... If I say something, I'm like, man, he lying, that's dirt. He lying, that's memo. Or well, I don't want to come off like no police, nigga. But since y'all want to play police games, nigga, and motherfucking run to the police, which is what you did and reported my post, nigga. Y'all reported my post, G. I'm exposed to your fans in the world. I don't give a fuck how many Lil Durk records y'all listen to. How I call out Lil Durk, Steve Drive, all in the fight. And I got a following, y'all. I already got. See how many likes it did. Let's see how many shares it did. Look, that shit had 260 shares. That's how many people that actually reached. 13,000 people seen it though. So this is how insights work. Although it got 1,400 likes, it got 260 shares. 13,000 people seen it, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Right. And then I say I'll beat your ass because I say that's whoever else got an issue with me speaking my mind. And I ain't just call y'all ass out. Let me read the whole the caption. I say, don't ever miss. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. I say don't ever admit, would y'all let somebody bully y'all too? Let me know if I'm wrong. I don't even game, man. I ain't even in the streets, nigga. I'm an OG teaching, raising a vibration. So little niggas try to try me. Yeah, I'm going to let you bitch ass niggas know what it is. All right, now look at my caption. Don't ever mistake me teaching my people as a sign of weakness. 
If it's an issue, I put an address on shit. 100. Any of you house Negroes got an issue with me speaking my mind and saying my truth in this war against oppression on my soul, I ain't scared of none of y'all Satan, worshippers slash blood drinkers. I'm a real warrior for righteousness. You soft ass, low vibrational house Negroes gonna stop playing with me on this internet. Hashtag. Y'all got me fucked up. And unlike y'all, I run alone. I don't run. I don't move in packs. That's what cowards do. Who are you to try and scare someone out of speaking their truth? Who else wouldn't respond like that? If any of y'all got an issue, hit my brother at Zab Judah. We can make it happen. So I offer niggas a fair one. And I tag niggas. I ain't sneak this shit. I'm Dolo, nigga. Tagging niggas. Five foot eight, 165. Dolo. Tagging niggas. If any of y'all got an issue, hit my brother at Zab Judah. We can make it happen. And all y'all niggas bigger and taller than me. Lil Dirk, Lil Memo, uh, Lil Baby, Jake Paul. And I call Jake Paul out because his ass a racist. And it's funny to me how when I get in Lil Dirk's story, let me show you how he'll sell out. Look who I seen the other day. Let me see if it's still in here. It might be gone. It might be gone. Yeah, it's gone. Nigga, Jake Paul was just in the story the other day. Look at the Illuminati numbers all over this. He number one in 30 countries. Right. They go to 13 right there. We'll be number one in 30 countries. Nigga, right. Both of their ass sold out. Come on, man. Come on, man. And just the other day, nigga, Jake Paul was on Lil Dirk and Lil Dirk's story playing the fucking song. Who goofy ass that had no Dirk reporting me? Okay, who else did it? Who else gonna do it? So you telling me a fan gonna report? That? Ain't no fan gonna report that. A fan would jump in the comments and say, fuck you, or they would DM me like they used to do. They would DM me. That's how I know they reported it. A fan ain't gonna report this. As much shit get talked on social media, if anything, niggas wanna see that. Niggas vibrating so low, they'll be trying to share the shit more. Ain't no motherfucking, that's how I know he did it. And then look, I, out of all the posts that get reported, it's this one, it's this one. So that's how I know it was dirt, not just dirt, it was they labels, nigga. That's common sense, nigga. I call niggas out to fight, I tag niggas, including Jake Paul, bitch ass. I know he's seen it too. And I say hashtag chaos energy, hashtag fuck the system, hashtag fuck 12, hashtag fuck racism, hashtag fuck the industry, and hashtag fuck you house Negroes. What y'all want to do? Nigga, win, lose the draw, I'm getting in there. What niggas do? I wake up to this. I wake up to this. I wake up to this. Your story has been removed for bullying or harassment. And now, and look at it, y'all. It's this post. So that's how I know they reported it. They labels did or they did. That's common sense. And now as a result, I'm blocked from going live. Come on, man. Fuck out of here, nigga. What more you need to see, nigga? What more you need to see, nigga? Just accept the fact what it is. How you know? Fuck you mean? Ain't no other post get reported, nigga, but that one. And that was after the memo was talking shit in the DM. Come on, man. Fuck out of here how I know. Niggas just don't want to accept the fact what it is, nigga. And like I said, I'm trying to get an interview right now with Say Cheese, DJ Academics, somebody on Shade Room. I'm airing everything out. Nah, fuck that, because I built my own platform up on my own. I got a million views on this channel on my own speaking truth, nigga. And I didn't get a million views dissing no dirt, dissing them niggas. I got a million views teaching my people. The, the, the university, we don't vibrate low in here, nigga. We not caught up in no gang wars, nigga. We not caught up in none of that low vibrational house Negro shit. We rising in here, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. That's all it is. Niggas got mad and niggas want to threaten me because I'm, I'm not known for killing. I'm not all over the internet with nobody. So I just little lame ass YouTuber. I'm going to try to scare him. Not knowing I'm... Not knowing, boy, I'm... You ain't never scare nothing, nigga. Real, real... I'm trying to tell you, everybody on this internet, I'm an 80s baby. I'm 86, nigga. What you talking about? You better run that with one of them shorties, nigga. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, are you serious, nigga? Better run that shit one of these short. Like I said, I'll beat you niggas ass. I said we can fight one on one. We don't lose a draw, jump in the ring. We get the money back. And I said I have 50,000 on myself. And you niggas go back and report my post. That's y'all response to me reporting the post. Yo, police ass niggas. Run tell that ass niggas. And like I said, I ain't never been BDK, nigga. BGDN, old school with it. Real original OG, nigga. So don't even try to make it seem like I'm on no gang war shit, nigga. I'm for my people. Anunakai God. Now I ain't the being, nigga. I'm just not backing down from y'all ass. And since I'm not, I'm causing it. I'm causing hectic. 
I got them hot, y'all. All up in the music industry, all up in corporate. Capital Records report my shit. That's how I know they finna take my Instagram, my YouTubes, everything. We got the website, though. On my soul, like I said, y'all take the website, nigga. Y'all gonna be nigga, nigga, the whole world going up in flames. Like I told y'all, boy, my ancestors behind me, boy. It's I got, I got over 10 million demonic forces with me right now, nigga. For real, for real. Real Anunnaki is with me that you can't see because you only using your two eyes. Your third eye is closed, so you don't see all these supreme beings standing around me 24-7. Come on, man. You, you sound crazy. You All this work I'm doing for the ancestors and I'm waking up, and you think they're going to let something happen to me? You sound, man, y'all, you, you, that's what I'm saying. You niggas stuck in religion. And y'all going to find out the true power of, of the spiritual realm when you come against Rashad Jamal and these Anunnaki gods, nigga, and this Galactic Confederation, nigga, and these nine ether beings, nigga. They came back to free the planet from its 550 years of consistent oppression, you house Negroes. That's why I don't, that's why nobody want to give me no interview, because I'm going to say all this real shit. And I got receipts now. Now we know Durkin and watching my shit. And I, I don't make me pull up the receipts of y'all sending me them death threats. I ain't no police ass nigga, so that's why I never did that. And I would never run to no police and fuck the police. So y'all ain't never had to worry about no pressure coming behind that. But if I was a whole ass nigga, boy, I got enough. I got, I, y'all ass would have been locked up. Because I could have just went to the police with that shit. Y'all locked up. Memo, if I was, that's, that's gonna show you. If I was un, if I was fake like you niggas, when Memo, when you said you're gonna kill me, on wall, I'm gonna kill you. I should have ran to the police, your ass would have went to jail. Goofy, you got a half a million followers with a blue check, and you gonna say that? That wasn't smart. But I still ain't run to no police, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. Fuck out of here, nigga. And then I, I get kicked off Instagram for bullying and harassment, but Lil Dirk and Memo, y'all dissing everybody. I been told y'all they ass work with the police. Motherfucking Dirk the police. He cousins the, the Lori Life with the mayor of Chicago. How the fuck is these niggas? How the fuck is these niggas in videos? They y'all dissing niggas literally daily. You made your whole career off dissing niggas, Lil Dirk. Talking about you get high as duck. Why ain't that video got taken down? You dissing everybody. Quan, you dissing everybody, dissing niggas you kill. Why ain't that video get took it down? What about all the drill rappers all over the world that make videos pissing on niggas' graves, dissing niggas? Why they videos ain't get took it down for bullying and harassment? But the moment I call niggas out for a fair one, I get kicked off Instagram live for bullying and harassment. Get y'all bitch ass out of here, nigga. Get y'all bitch ass out of here, man. I don't know who the fuck raised you, niggas. House Negroes. And scary ones at that. So I don't want to hear shit about run, run, run them switches fast. You don't even want to fight a nigga one on one. You have to go run a report a post and then pay your homies to try to come get down on me. Get y'all bitch ass out of here, nigga. On my soul, I got a whole army behind me, boy. Let a nigga think they're gonna do something to anything or anything close to me. Watch how this shit flip. Watch how it flip. I got a real army. Y'all ain't got no real army. Y'all got y'all little gang of a few people that's gonna happen. Them niggas gonna run. I got the whole, I got real goddesses behind me. I got elderly behind me, the youth behind me. It'll be a motherfucker get on y'all last that's just watching me every day. That's how the universe work. Goofies, I ain't gotta do nothing. The universe gonna bring it to your ass. Cause you don't know when you was threatening me, I'm rocking, I gotta ride like that. I started riding with three, four, five pipes when y'all start threatening me, little Dirk and Memo. Y'all ain't wanna fight me, we out in Atlanta. I even got on live on Atlanta flipping out one day and niggas thought I was crazy. I'm downtown at the varsity where y'all caught y'all case at. Went on live and I'm like, I'll fight. And niggas thought I was crazy because I didn't tell niggas what was going on. But what was really going on, y'all, I been getting threatened by Lil Dirk personally and niggas from his OTF camp as well as Lil Baby and all them niggas. And I'm in Atlanta. So that's why I went out to the varsity, went live and said, nigga, pull up. And if y'all don't wanna pull up, all that money y'all got, Pay a nigga to pull up, and I would have whooped any nigga that would have pulled up on my soul. I would have showed niggas I really get down like that. And ain't nobody pull up, and I was out there by myself for like two hours. You niggas, WCW, nigga, I'm an intellect. How y'all let an intellect right? Right, nigga, because I'm a real gangster. And I ain't talking about no GD. I'm a gangster. I'm Lunakai God. I fear none. I'm for what's right. And when I'm right, I'm standing ten toes. I ain't backing out. I ain't apologizing none when I'm right. And that's why I didn't tell my brother Bo Deal about it. Because like I said, I love my brother Bo Deal, but I already knew he was going to probably fall out with me. I ain't even read his inbox. He like, man, little bro, you tweaking. I don't even want to read it. Because I feel like, up oh, there it go. He's going to be thinking I'm on there. Ain't on nobody's side. But that's why I didn't tell him because I know he's connected to the industry. And then he know me for snapping. So he's going to immediately think, oh, man, little bro, you I ain't tripping shit. But then if I come to you and tell you this shit, you ain't going to tell me, man, be cool. Ain't no being cool. I'm living in that letter nigga threatening me and my family. Man, I ain't trying to hear that shit. And I ain't pulled bow in it. I, I ain't diss Bo. No, that's my brother. I always lifted him up too. I ain't never dissed him. And I ain't dissing him now. I said Bo Dealer real when he never takes sides, man. But when that shit happened with Memo, man, Memo bit on bullshit with me, man. Come on, man. And what I'm going to do? Go to Bo and be like, hey, bro, Memo on bullshit. Man, he following you, bro. It ain't, he ain't going to do shit but say I'm tripping him. Come on, man. I ain't trying to hear That's why I ain't bring it to you. I want to bring it to you. 
I won't bring it to you. What I'm bringing to you for, you don't know, you don't take sides anyway. You know, you always be fair to everybody. I'm my own man, you your own man, big bro. And if you don't love me no more, then it's cool. I still love you, bro. But like I told them niggas, I'm speaking for me. I ain't never said I'm speaking for Bo and nobody. I said, this is for me. Me and Bo Bo all the way in Chicago. I'm in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I got my own man. I'm my own guy. I got my own life, my own lane. And niggas on that with me. And I ain't going to back down from that, big bro. I love you, but I, I, I don't want to get on the phone because I don't, I don't want us to fall out. We fell out before where I've been wrong with you. But it's times you've been wrong with me too, bro. We family. And we ain't going to put our business on the internet. We family. But that's real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Motherfuckers don't know how I feel to have everybody gang up against you. Then as soon as you defend yourself, now you the crazy one. And I've been going through this shit my whole life. Way before I ever started teaching, man. I ain't crazy shit. Niggas trying me like I'm a bitch for speaking truth. I ain't never got a nobody. I ain't never got a memo inbox and nobody inbox that said stop dissing the dead. I ain't tell them niggas how to make they songs. So who the fuck is these niggas to tell me how to make my lectures? I pay this bill. I work hard. Fuck niggas, man. I ain't trying to hear that, none of that shit, man. That shit ain't right. That shit ain't right at all, man. Like I said, man. And y'all need to tag Say Cheese on my video. Like, I, I'm willing to look, tell Say Cheese, Shade Room, DJ Academics, at this point, I'm willing to pay their ass for an interview just so I can get my message out to a lot of people at once, yo. But y'all so in the industry, niggas still they probably ain't gonna do it. My, my I paid Say Cheese five racks for the interview just to get it out there. A Academic Shade Room, interview me. Can somebody please interview me? Because YouTube tried to silence me. Instagram, have, they all came together to silence me. And I want to talk about all this shit in my interview. Not just that, but how I was speaking the truth to wake the people up. They couldn't take this new Malcolm X Tupac vibe. It was too much. I'm divine insight, but I remind them a little bit too much of pocket Malcolm for them. They're like, shit, man, you can't take this nigga. They feel though with Shaka Zulu warrior spirit on me, man. Niggas house Negroes, niggas sellouts, man. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. You out here killing our people, man. And then I can speak on that, just like you speak on niggas. You, I don't stop you from making money when you dissing niggas, so how the fuck you gonna try to stop me from speaking my truth when I'm just talking and lecturing? Bitch ass nigga, you got millions of followers. I ain't even got that. Why is y'all even worried about what I'm doing? I got 30, listen y'all, this the crazy thing though. I got 30,000 followers, niggas worried about me. Niggas got millions, so that let you know what's going on. YouTube, I only got 25K and I'm already one strike away from getting my channel took in. They won't even let me shine on YouTube. They'll never let me get to a million. I was dropping videos on YouTube every day. I stopped because my shit keep getting took in. Fuck out of here. If it wasn't for that nigga, I'd be going all the way up every day lecturing. Now nah, I can't even go live on Instagram no more. All I can do is post. Come on, man. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Me against the world, y'all. This is what Tupac and, and Malcolm niggas went through. It'd be a get like that. You against the world, G. And, now, and that's why I don't trust nobody. I don't know who to trust. Then when you going against big people like this, you can't trust nobody because niggas be easily bought off. Niggas will take some money out of them, man, I can't trust no motherfucker. That's why I move like I move, nigga. It be me and my tools, nigga. Me, my tools, and the ancestors, nigga. My soul, nigga, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit, nigga. Y'all got me fucked up, boy. Y'all like y'all only ones move like that, man. I really move like that, and they ain't got a cunt. I said we can scrap, niggas. Niggas don't want to scrap, niggas want to kill. Niggas want to go report post. When niggas should be making it right with God, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Niggas be getting right with the God within they self. Yeah, it's like X said. Let me tell y'all something, man. Everybody ain't got legs to stand up. So it's just like DMX said, man. Like DMX, you know what I'm saying? He he was like, man, Joe, always trust that you can see people clearly. You feel me? You feel me? Trust trust that you can see people clearly. You feel me? Man, I'm real as fuck, bro. I like, man. I don't give a fuck who turned on me, bro. I show love to niggas. I broke bread with niggas. Shout out to Parkside Slim. Shout them out of my story. Shout out Cali Rush. Man, come on, I break bread with mine. I ain't never wrong right now, bro. This is my war. This ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So there's nobody else to jump in my war unless you're going to side with me. Niggas is ganging up on me. And I offer niggas a chance to scrap about the shit. Niggas ain't want to do it. So niggas could have just left me alone. Niggas been fucking with me for months. Then when a the nigga respond, niggas, come on, man. Y'all know what I do. I be teaching. So, like, today I try to get on here and do a subscription giveaway on Instagram, and that's not going to happen. So, now it ain't going to be no subscription giveaway. You got to come straight to the website. So, now what I'm going to have to do is probably just fuck around and open up my website and make it free certain days just so I can make sure I get all of y'all. So, listen, y'all, if y'all last, I'm telling you right now, come to the website. If you ain't on the website, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't go live on Facebook. 
I'm, I'm able to go live on this channel, but I'm my one strike away, and they just deleted my last video for no reason. I'm talking about child protection, violate child policy. I ain't say shit about no kids, man. All right, so that show you. I, my new YouTube channel is, they say I can go live on that bitch in 24 hours, but we don't know how that's going to go. I mean, they know who Rashad Jamal is. So at this point, if I just say Rashad Jamal, anything, they own it. So I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't know how to get the message to y'all, like, other than y'all coming to the website at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know when Instagram going to let me go live again. They ain't even give me no date. Normally, they'll be like, all right, you can't go live. To and I don't understand why can't I go live for speaking my mind, but niggas is dissing niggas and, and, and threatening me and speaking their mind, and they can still go live. Come on, man. Yeah, come on. Y'all see that type of shit was going on when I'm going through? Do y'all see what I'm going through? I already got another YouTube channel, but guess what? Y'all don't know that because they deleted the video while I was telling y'all to go to my new YouTube channel. It's I am Rashad Jamal. Ain't even no need of me showing it to y'all right now again because I don't know if they're going to delete this video. I made a whole video called Lies Live. I put my website on there. I showed y'all the website. I showed y'all my Instagram channel. Like, Listen, all y'all got to do is click on the About section on this channel link, and they got all my shit on there, man. That's why I'm starting to think a lot of y'all don't be really trying to keep up. Y'all just talking in the comments, G. I shouldn't have to tell you that. Go to the About section. It clearly says all my information. It's, it's all there. Like, it's been there. Like, that's why I never responded to people on here. Be like, hey, what's how you... If you go click on my channel, right? How y'all on here? Click on the channel where it says the universe. Click on it. And then scroll over to the About. It's going to have everything you need, man. Like, golly. That's not even hard. You feel me? But yeah, so right now I'm going to rename this live because I just went live and they kicked me out the first one. But it's definitely on some me against the world shit, y'all. This is what happens when you speak the truth. You stir up all the elites, you stir up all the big wigs, and now everybody coming together against you. I don't know fucking Telegram, man. Y'all tripping, man. I've already went everywhere to get y'all a message. How about y'all come to my website for once? I've went to YouTube. I've made backup YouTube. I've went to Facebook. Two Facebook pages backed up. I've went, I've been fighting this war against oppression for a whole year, y'all. Like on the, on social media, y'all is. I'm like, it's getting to the point where I'm really where I'm really about to just be done with this shit. Like, it's it's getting to that point because it's like I'm fighting alone. Like although y'all saying this on the internet. I'm the one that's living here in real life, though. So they're not thinking about y'all. Y'all just comments. I'm who they think about. That's all I'm saying when I say alone. Feel me? I know y'all with me, and y'all in the university, and y'all, but it's, it's, I'm talking about, you feel me? I don't know if boy Freemason, that's my brother, though. I mean, I, ain't, I don't know that, and I ain't going to say that. Like, you know, I don't know. But I know big bro always show me love. Feel me? Like, I ain't never spoke bad on bro. I didn't even speak bad on him now. You know what I'm saying? I was just saying, I know he got ties to situations. So it's really like, that's why I don't need me to come to him with nothing when I'm getting into it with people in the industry. Because I'm going to look like the crazy one because I know that it's politics and that shit that I don't want to deal with. I went through that with Queen Key. I went through the same shit with Queen Key. I looked like the crazy nigga when the bitch takes six months to send my motherfucking verse back. That's how fake shit is. Come on, man. But I looked like the crazy one because that's the politics of the industry. Come on, man. I ain't got time for that. That's why I just died. I ain't even hit bro. I didn't even hit bro. I hit my other little brothers that's in the clan. Some of them and talked about it, but I ain't want to hit my big bro because he got his hands full. I respect him. I love him. And I just know him. I know how he is. I know how he is and I know who I am. So I... I but like I say, um, R.I.P. Lil Uzi. Yeah, Bo don't take sides, so... 
but I still don't want to didn't want to bring bring him in no politics or none of that. So he got his own thing going. He don't even get in that type of stuff. When you say, hold on, let me shout you out, God. I don't want to flip out on y'all. I almost flipped out, but I can't keep doing that on y'all. That ain't for y'all. All right, so shout out to Andrew Killebrew. When you say, roll you a good blunt, God, and get back to the positive energy. God, what are you talking about? I'm still on positive energy. Did you not see my last live on Instagram? But what, what I supposed to not address what's going on? This just happened. I'm blocked on Instagram. So what's, what's happening is me addressing what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be addressed. Or otherwise, how do y'all know? If I don't address it, then you niggas like y'all all the gods and goddesses in the university like, then why why God ain't been live? Now I look like the fake nigga. So what is you talking about? Like, why every time I address something, this took it like I'm off balance. I am not off balance. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, man. Address it so y'all can know. I'm communicating with y'all. You talking about some get back on pile. So fuck what's going on. I was supposed to just come in here and start lecturing about a whole lot. Like that, that, like that doesn't affect me. None of that matters. So that made me feel like you're being selfish, God. And if I'm taking you wrong, you can email me and be like, man, I was the one that put that comment out there. But yeah, that's kind of selfish, God. To say that, to be like, get back to, I'm always on a positive frequency. Why every time I defend myself, you think I'm not being positive? my motherfucking passion niggas be married this is my passion like i can't change who i am that's why i say which i would do you do you want me to leave the, the planet well maybe y'all would be happier if i leave the planet this who i am fuck out of here this is my passion it's who i am ain't no get back to positive shit this is, i'm positive right now fuck is wrong with y'all man the motherfucker the whole industry coming against me and i'm i'm talking about it right now so that y'all can know what's going on you talking about We'll get back to the positive. You feel me, official Martin? You know what I'm saying? I'm fighting 25,000 motherfuckers at once. I didn't even have to go lie to let y'all know this. Nigga, I just woke up. I ain't even ate breakfast yet, nigga. That's how much I love y'all. I'm rushing to let y'all know what's going on. And you gonna tell me to get back to positive energy? You right, I'm gone, G. That's just